Jackie. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing a full face of first impressions, except my eyes are going to be off camera. I will be doing a separate video for my eyes, so please stay tuned to watch that. Um, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. If you can tell, my skin is like doing great and I did a face mask and it wasn't supposed to irritate my skin but like you can literally see on my cheeks where I put them <laughs> also I don't want to talk about what's going on with my hair like, some of this makeup you will have seen in my haul that should already be up that'll be in the cards if not everything will be linked down below if you guys are interested in it normally I do my eyes first but for today's video we're gonna do my face first I'm pretty confident that I won't have fallout on my eyes but like if I do for my haul, I'm going to try the e.l.f. Mattifying Primer Mist. It's not mattifying, it's oil control, but same thing. It's like a spray paint. Mm. That is... I am saturated, you guys can tell. Look at that. Wow, that took about a minute to freaking set down. That's weird. Well, we're gonna go with this on top of it. This is the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. I love this stuff. I usually use it for moisturizer. Honestly, my skin is so moisturized right now that I don't really need a whole lot of this. Because I did just have a face mask on. And because I have acne prone skin, a tip for this, which I did not mention in my haul, is I like to sanitize it, so I just spray some uh, rubbing alcohol on it. I don't, I don't really pay attention to what percentage, but just like something just to kind of disinfect it after I use it usually, but definitely before I use it, I always just sanitize it because I have acne prone skin and when you're rubbing acne on top of acne, it just, it's a breeding ground. That's really what it is. We're going to start with the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. I believe I got this in the shade Nude. I think it's going to be a little too dark for me, but if it is, I have another foundation. Oh, that is way not my color. Okay, so since this is clearly going to be too dark for me, let's just bounce it in just a little bit. Oh, it's not that it's too dark, it's just like too yellow. Yeah, no, it's a little dark too, okay. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation in the shade F6. I love the matte version, and in that one, I am the same shade, so hopefully this is the same shade. I love the fact that this has a pump. I hate that the other one is a doe foot, and I've heard the opposite from other people, and I'm just like, how? No. This one's a little dark, too. Whatever. We're just gonna kind of make a mixture. Okay, we're gonna go with, like, about that much of the Born to Glow, and a pump of the- whoa, way liquidy. Oh yeah, you can tell the shades are different. That more yellowy golden is the Born to Glow. Pinkish one is the, what are you called? Conceal and Hydrate. You know, it's covering up all that redness really nicely, I will say. These are not my shades, either of them. Which sucks because I bought this stuff so long ago that I can't return it. <laughs> yeah, it's really not my color. <laughs> I think I probably could have gone to the next, like, down neutral shade in this. And I should have stuck to light. I don't know why I got nude. Like, I guess just because Ulta's little description said light with neutral undertones. Which I'm like, I'm light with neutral under undertones. I don't consider myself fair, but apparently I'm fair. Because there's so much foundation on my sponge, I'm just gonna use a clean side and try to soak up some of this excess product because I can see it literally everywhere. I did a no outside Black Friday shopping this year. Normally I kind of like 
around 1 o'clock, I'll just go out if there's something, like, at a store. I'll just go. Like, it doesn't even matter what store. I'll just go to, like, Kohl's, JCPenney's, wherever. But this year I didn't go. Did you guys do any Black Friday shopping? I'm interested to know what kind of deals you guys found because I did not see any. I guess I don't really care. I'm not really, like, looking for deals. Like, I shop year-round. I don't just wait until Black Friday, so maybe that's why I don't pay as much attention to it. Yeah, it's intense. It didn't cover up my redness as well. I think it's just because, like, I was blending and blending and blending and blending. But, like, that's what concealer's for. We're definitely going to be a dewy bitch today. I'm going to go in with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. This is not brand new, but it's unopened and new in my collection. So I'm going to use it on my face. This is in the shade Light. I don't know if I mentioned that. I already used the one in the shade Fair. Oh, she's yellow. And too dark for me. For sure. You know what? I'm channeling my inner Raw Beauty Crispy, so I don't mind. I'm gonna get my powder ready while like the underneath is drying. The powder I will be using after I blend out my concealer, the Pacifica Cherry Velvet Matte Setting Powder. I've had this for a while, like maybe six months. Mm, maybe not six months. Nah. Do I? Five months? Almost five months? Which is insane. So if you see me filming a lot of like full face new me makeup, like full face first impressions, it's literally because I have a full drawer and my Alex 9 drawer just full of new makeup and I'm running out of space because of that drawer. Like I'm running out of space for all my other products so I need to start going through that and I need to figure out a different way to store new makeup because I need to not put it in my Alex 9 drawer. Alright, now that we're all blended, let's go in with this powder. Ooh, it has a sifter. Really? Cherry? I don't smell like cherry. I smell like strawberry. It definitely smells artificial, whatever it is, but it doesn't smell like cherries to me. I feel like nothing ever smells like what the intended scent is. I'm always like, I don't think so, but okay. I shouldn't be setting the rest of my face because I wanted it to be dewy and this is a matte powder. I'm literally really stupid. I'm not worried about it. I have a dewy setting spray, so. Then I'm just gonna take a brush and just take just a little bit and just kind of swirl it. Just in case I missed it anywhere on my sponge. The only thing I, I feel like with powders, I don't know if it's because I'm not letting my concealer dry long enough, is that when I place the powder over, it like picks up the coverage. I've been noticing that a lot lately. Like you can totally tell in this area that there's like no coverage, but then there's coverage right here. And then there's coverage all over. Like the sides of my face there's coverage there's coverage here you lose coverage here lost it here it's almost like in the spot that I put the concealer there's no coverage I've been noticing that a lot lately so maybe I'm gonna let my concealer kind of dry more I don't know I'm gonna have to watch Jackie Anna video video <sighs> Jackie Anna always has the best tips I feel like it doesn't look as crazy <laughs> I knew I was gonna go in with the cream bronzer from e.l.f. Their aqua infused blush and bronzer. Guess not today. Guess not today. That's fine. We're gonna go in with the number seven in bronzer and the shade caramel. I really wanna try this on my e.l.f. pointed powder brush, which you guys saw in my haul. Ooh, that is a dark bronzer. Sorry, I've been filming with my door open, so like if you hear weird animal noises, it's because there are animals in this house. <laughs> I don't know if I love this bronzer shade. 
I got it on sale at Target for literally $3.88, so I'm not gonna complain. But at the same time, I think it's a little warm, and I'm wearing, like, a darker foundation. Okay. Mm, not really that big of a fan of that. You know what? We're gonna go in with the Gigi Gorgeous one from my Ipsy bag. And I'm gonna try to stay on this lighter side. And I'm, I'm just gonna use that to kind of blend out and soften the other bronzer that we've got going on. Just because I'm feeling like I'm looking a little crazy. And it's winter time and I just feel like in winter time you don't need to be as like bronze, but you definitely want to be as glowy. That's how I feel in the winter time. What are your guys' makeup habits in the winter time? Like, do you go more full coverage? Do you kind of lessen up the coverage? Do you do you go full throttle? Do you just take a step back? Are you more bronzed? Are you a little less bronzed but more glowy? Are you more eyeshadow look? Don't care about the face? Like, what's your guys' makeup style? Does it change in the seasons? I know sometimes, like, I remember when I was in high school and middle school. Well, I didn't really make, wear makeup in middle school. Um, definitely in high school, I did not change my makeup with the seasons like at all I did not care I wear the same black eyeliner mascara crappy shade of foundation every year it took until my senior year no my junior year to actually do eyebrows because I saw a freshman doing her eyebrows and I was like "Ooh, that's how you do your eyebrows that's that looks really nice and then like I actually started caring about my eyebrows and I stopped plucking them like immediately I just was done. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna go into the Pixie Fresh Face Blush in the shade Parfait. Peach Parfait, sorry. I don't know why it's called peach, it literally looks pink. I'm just gonna use that same diffusing brush. I really like to run my blush like Oh, this has a lot of shimmer in it, and like, I kind of regret doing that. We're just going to keep this kind of on the temples because it's um, a lot more shimmery than pigment. See how shimmery it is? Yeah, that's like a freaking pink eyeshadow. It's not even like blush. Just kidding, we're going to go in with the pointed brush and kind of hope that this gives up a little more pigment. It's not. You know what? It's fine. We're gonna save this. I'm gonna go in with the aqua blush anyways because I know that this isn't like a wet wet formula. Yeah, look at that color. But it will give me what I'm kind of looking for. Yeah. I do not particularly love blush. Um, but I do really like these little duos. I don't know if they're like working on discontinuing them because I see them on sale all the time and then like I only really ever see one instead of all three so I don't know. I'm looking a little blushy so I'm just gonna go with my sponge and kind of tap this off of like this part of my face especially and just kind of buff it out. Tap just a little more. My skin is looking crazy. It's kind of my fault. I went in a little too heavy handed. Didn't pick the right color. Like, I'm not really blaming the products. Except for this blush. I haven't really tried much makeup by Pixi. I don't think I've tried any makeup from Pixi. So, like, this is not a good first impression. This is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in the shade Blossom Glow. Kind of has a pinky shift to it. We're just gonna take an eyeshadow brush. This is the BH Studio Pro number five. We're just gonna highlight, which I'm already pretty highlighted because of that stinking blush. But that's okay. Just gonna highlight right here. I don't love highlighting the tip of my nose, particularly because I don't have a cute nose and I have a very like rumpus nose I guess is like what I call it like it doesn't have like a cute little ball at the end of it so I don't love highlighting it so if you've noticed in my videos that I never highlight my nose yeah that's why 
I like to just go not like between my brows I mean sometimes it accidents it accidentally gets up there but I just like to take the brush and kind of just graze down what I imagine is the center of my nose and then my cupid's bow I love over highlighting my cupid's bow I think it like I don't know, I just feel like it makes the eye, because I don't want the eye to be at my nose, I want it to be like, at my eyes, on my cheeks, like at my lips. So I just feel like highlighting it really draws that attention, like, ooh. Especially to my top lip, I feel like my top lip needs a little help. Do you have a new brow pencil for once? I never have a new brow pencil. This is the Boss Babe brow pencil from ColourPop in the shade ash brown I'm hoping this formula is a little stiffer than their other formula I don't remember what it's called because I tried that formula and it's just a little too waxy for me I censored my brows to match my hair also and I was editing one of my videos like my haul video and I realized how bad I did my brows that day so I'm really hoping that I don't mess it up I meant to do my brows first today Especially because I'm using a new pencil, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. close sisters I think this is a really good brow shade especially like for my hair right now I think it'd be really good even with my natural color you know um I definitely think this is way better than the first formula I tried it went on way stiffer like it's not as waxy and I just really am impressed that sounds so dumb like I don't know what else to say about it like I just like it I feel like I know when I like an eyebrow product and when I don't and I like this one I feel like this brow product brow pencil just has a little bit more pigment to it because it has a little bit of that waxy slippiness but it's still stiff like I like so I definitely think how much is this I think this I mean this is also just a first impression I'm not even gonna take my word for it I'm going to keep trying this but I definitely think this could replace the CoverGirl one because it's cheaper and it's a little better. Just like, not by much, but like better. And the CoverGirl one is $9 and this one is $5.50. So it's like, I could almost buy two of these for one of those. And I think they have the same amount of product. I didn't look into it too, too much, but it's a brow pencil. I feel like 5 and $6 brow pencils are the best brow pencils. Like, people who spend $21 on a brow pencil, I'm like... Oh, she got money money because I feel like I get the same results like I don't I'm never impressed by like high-end eyebrow stuff or like mascara I'm never impressed I'm I just think that the drugstore kills it normally I don't do lip color before I do my eyeshadow but I want to do this right now so this is the bite beauty amuse bouche lipstick in the shade honeycomb I'm not even gonna line my lips just because it's a bullet lipstick. That's a nice shade. I didn't think I'd like it. I was like, mm, mm. that's a pretty good nude. It's a little more like pinky orange. It's honestly like a little lighter than my natural lip color, but I'm not mad at it. Okay, guys, so I will be right back. I'm gonna go do my eyes off camera, which you will see in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. Hi, guys, I'm back. I did my eyes. I will reveal to you the brand I used. <laughs> I used Pat McGrath. Um, this is the first time I've ever tried any of her shadows. I actually use four different palettes which is kind of insane and a lot of money in my hands right now. I just went ahead and set my face with the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Setting Spray. This is the purple one. Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. This is Robbie D. Christie's favorite setting spray. I really like it. I'm really dewy. Which normally I'm like, what? 
But it's winter time and it's colder, which means that my makeup will not sweat off my face. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of full face first impressions. Um, before I end this, I'm just going to go over what my final thoughts are on each product that I used. The e.l.f. Oil Control Primer Spray. Mm. The mister on this is very aggressive. I don't know if I would spray it all over my face again because it kind of took a while to dry down. I think I would probably just like put it in my sponge and press it on my face or like put it on my sponge and use it in my like with my foundation like kind of mix it. Uh, I definitely don't think I would use this just all over my face again. That was kind of aggressive. My thoughts on the Prep and Hydrate Balm by e.l.f. I love this stuff. I've always loved this stuff. Um, I think it prepped my skin really well. Granted, I did literally just put moisturizer on before and did a face mask before this video, but I definitely think it helped. Uh, I miss this stuff. I'm really glad it's back in my collection. And I can't wait to keep using it. I think I need to try them each separately in a more flattering shade or use like shade adjusters just so that they end up being a good shade for me. The Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer, I've already used this before. I know and I love it. The shade seemed to work just fine. It was a little yellow, but it kind of worked with the foundation colors that I used, so I'm not mad about that. The powder, honestly... For it being a matte, it really dewed up really well. I mean, I don't know if it'll do good with my oils, but to make it dewy again, like I had a dewy foundation under it and then I used a dewy setting spray, it definitely doesn't look like there is much powder on my face under my eyes, but that's typically where it looks like the most powdery is right here, which is fine, I don't mind. And eventually, like... It helps when I get creases to kind of blend it out during the day, so I don't mind it. This blush. She's really glittery, and I don't like glittery blushes, and I should have known that the minute I opened it. I think it's definitely more of, like, a duo-shifting eyeshadow than, like, a blush that I would wear. Maybe it's more, like... If I applied it right, I don't know. I just feel like I have just so much shine in, like, this whole portion. Like, my entire cheek zone, it's just straight up glitter. Like, glitter and shimmer. It's not even the dew that's coming off. Um, and I don't really love that. The number 7 bronzer, I think it's alright. I definitely don't think it's, like, my perfect shade. Um... It is a little too warm for me, but mixed with the Gigi Gorgeous, it definitely worked better. I think this shade of bronzer, like, if I mixed the two, would be pretty dang good. What In this palette, like, specifically mixed these two. Not this palette. Um, but yeah, so far, I like this palette too. These e.l.f. duos, I love. I wish I would have used it under my foundation or like on top while I didn't powder before I powdered. This, this is definitely replacing my ColourPop brow pencil or <clears throat> my CoverGirl brow pencil. It's way cheaper and I think it's better and honestly we'll s I can't, obviously I can't do a wear test today but like another day I'll try to do a wear test and we'll kind of see how long it lasts. It covered up my scars really well which that's typically a problem area for me because there's like lines in my brows which I would never cut my eyebrows. It was from when I fell off a horse. Maybe I'll do a story time if you guys are interested. Covered that scar really well and you literally can't tell that I ever had scars in my eyebrows. Which I love that. Like I've never had a brow product ever. Like even when I did pomades, pencils, like nothing covered that and took it away. Granted I'm not ashamed of it anymore like I used to be really ashamed of it but anyways um I think this highlighter was really pretty I definitely don't I don't think it has as much as a pink shift as I was looking in the pan because if you look in the pan it kind of there you go it kind of shifts pink but definitely like on your face it's more of like a white champagne silver that made no sense but yeah it's definitely not as pink which is fine it's more natural and subtle um which I enjoyed that I haven't had much I haven't tried many of the wet n wild highlighters so maybe I'm just like it's a good highlighter
glitter. It's from the drugstore. It's fine. And then, of course, the setting spray I already know and love. And same with the mascara. The lip color. The Bite Beauty. I definitely... I think it's showing up more pink on camera. It's definitely a lot more, like, nudie, brownie mauve than, like, pink. But it looks good. I like it. I enjoy it. The Pat McGrath video is coming, I promise. Um... So yeah, I believe that's everything I tried today. All right guys, another day, another new video, and it all must come to an end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, I appreciate you. Please do not forget to subscribe, please ring the bell, and also like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Everything I used on my face will be listed down below in the description box. Please hang out with me in the comments, I'll be there for the next hour, two hours all day the first day that this video gets uploaded and I will check it frequently. I love you guys. I appreciate that you stayed to the end of this video. I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! <laughs> XX, XX? You fucking scared me. Why are you doing that? Hello you. Does my face look bad? In what way? Oh. <laughs> uh. Huh? Monkeys. In the litter box right now pooping. Someone's playing with one of the ornaments. With a wild turkey, yes. T'Challa. Allie? Yeah. Well, she wasn't here. Hey. Outfit change. Outfit change.